According to a recent survey, last year, 94% of businesses reported that they'd suffered some kind of phishing attack. And because phishing attacks is one of the most favorite routes into your business from a cyber criminal, it makes sense that you know all about them. But before we start, don't forget to like this video. And if you've got any comments, please use the comment section below. Now the phishing that we're talking about doesn't begin with an F. It actually begins with a PH. But the actual analogy is taken from phishing itself. Now the people inside of your business are those little fish swimming around in the river. And the cyber criminals, well they're the fishermen. So the cyber criminals, they dangle the fishing rods into the water. And they're hoping that someone inside your firm will eventually take the bait. Unfortunately for the cyber criminals, a lot of people do. But the bait that these cyber criminals are using isn't food. In this case, they're emails designed so well that they tempt people to click on those links. Our most famous and recognizable brands are used to tempt us even further. These emails look real. You might get an email from Amazon offering you a free gift voucher. Now, who wouldn't want that? Or you might get an email from DHL telling you about a parcel that you're expecting. All these emails contain links that entice people to click on them. But the most famous brand used by hackers is Microsoft. Office 365 is a wildly popular system used by businesses all around the world. It has over 200 million active users. So it's a prime target for cyber criminals. Now, when we hear about these phishing attacks from friends, colleagues, customers, we always say, no way, that'll never happen to me. Do you remember years ago when we used to get these fake emails from distant shores offering us 10 million pounds in someone's will? Did anybody believe those? But the phishing attacks these days are so much more sophisticated. And as we get more knowledgeable, the cyber criminals get cleverer. Businesses like yours are falling for these phishing attacks every single day. So let's take a look at an example of a phishing attack. Pretend that someone within your business gets an email from Microsoft and that email tells them that their inbox is full and if they want to free up some space, they need to click on that link. Now when they click on that link, some malware could be installed on your computer. That could be designed to steal your information or encrypt all your data. Or when you click on that link, it might take you to a bogus Office 365 login page where you need to enter your username and password. And when you do enter your username and password, then that means the hacker has access to your username and password to use how they wish. Either scenario is bad news. So there are two prongs of attack here. Firstly, what can we do as a business to ensure that these phishing attack emails don't end up in our inbox. Now we've talked about Office 365 being a really popular solution for businesses, and it really is fantastic. But a mistake that a lot of businesses make is to use Office 365 on its own. They don't think about giving it some extra protection. Office 365 needs additional protection to protect your business from these types of phishing attacks. There are several products in the marketplace that can make your Office 365 much more secure. Microsoft has its own extra security product called Advanced Threat Protection, or ATP for short. There's also things like Vade Secure, Email Laundry, or a really prime product is something called Mindcast. Obviously, these products cost extra money, but your business really needs to invest in cybersecurity to keep yourself secure. Now, there's one other thing you can do, and that is train your team. Education is absolutely everything, and you should be offering your team regular cybersecurity training so they know what to look out for when they get one of these bogus emails. If an email doesn't look quite right, then it probably isn't, but your team need to know what to look out for. Now there's an excellent company that we use for our customers called Know Before, and they provide regular online cybersecurity training so your team can get fully cyber aware, which in turn will help keep your business protected. Once again, you have to invest in cybersecurity. You can't just leave it to chance. But what happens if you've received one of these emails and it's been so convincing that you've clicked on the link? 
What do you do next? Well, here are my five tips. Firstly, when you click on the link, if it takes you to a bogus page asking for any details at all, like passwords or bank details, don't enter them. Because when you do enter them, you are giving these details directly to the cyber criminal. Secondly, you might have clicked on a link and you might be thinking, well, nothing's happening. But something is happening. Malware in the background could be installing onto your computer. So my second tip is to switch your computer off and disconnect it from the network. You can unplug the network cable or if you're connected to Wi-Fi, then turn your Wi-Fi off. And thirdly, at this point, it might be time to get your IT people involved and they need to come along and scan the PC for any malware. My fourth tip is to change your passwords. Perhaps you've received a bogus email from PayPal and you've entered your username and password. Well, what you should do immediately is go and change your PayPal password because the hacker will have access to your account otherwise. And tip five is to make sure you've got a backup of your computer or make sure there's a backup on your computer network because sometimes things like ransomware can encrypt all your data. And if you've not got a decent backup, then you could lose everything. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been informative. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We release videos every Tuesday and every Friday. I'll see you soon.